Today, we're going to learn about how spiders can defend themselves. A spider is an animal that has many enemies. Birds, insects such as wasps and snakes, lizards, frogs, and fish, they all eat spiders. Even spiders eat spiders. Ooh. A spider uses its silk lines to get away from danger. Remember those drag lines we talked about? Kind of like that. When an enemy is close by, a spider drops a drag line from its web to the ground. The spider then slides down the drag line as if it were a rope. At the bottom, the spider jumps into the grass and hides. If a spider is up high, it can drop a drag line from a tree branch and hang in space. When the enemy leaves, the spider just climbs back up the line to safety. A spider usually doesn't have to worry about insects and other animals its own size. That's because a spider can hold an insect with its very powerful jaws and venom to kill the insect. But do you think a spider can hold a dog or bird with its jaws? It'd be nice if it could do it with a bird. But no, a spider can't hold a dog or bird with its jaws. Those animals are way too big for a spider to harm. The spider has to run away or hide from bigger animals. Now, what helps a spider hide? Well, of course, the colors on the spider. Spiders are usually the same color as their surroundings. They blend in with the colors, so it's hard for other animals to see them. This is called what? Camouflage. You're right, it's called camouflage. Brown, black, or green spiders blend in with dirt, trees, and grass. Some spiders even weave a special or weave special patterns in their webs to hide behind them. Camouflage is nature's very smart way of helping animals hide from enemies. Most spiders don't harm people. However, there are two types of spiders, the black widow and the brown recluse that are poisonous. But most spiders are afraid of people. They try to run away or hide from big giants like you and I. Mm. 